when, when you don't have YouTube like feeding you all the moves, back then when the Dars was getting hit uh, by people, but mostly by Mark Lehman's crew, uh, I'm sure East Coast had their guys out at Hanser Gracie's, but for the West Coast, it was Las Vegas, Cobra Kai. They were doing the Dars and it, you know, again, it was like a new toy to play with. So when everybody was trying to hit the Dars, the Mars is just, it's the same shit. You're just on your back, on your side. But it made like, it was like a new move to us, you know? So instead of just putting it in from top half guard or top side control, you were like committing to it and going to your back. And that's made it like a whole new move. And not everybody called it that, but it was really a Cobra Kai thing. But I, uh, you know, I mentioned because Jason was at Cobra Kai during those days. Um, it was popular. So the Mars is basically the Dars. You're just on Nowadays, nobody even says it anymore, pretty much. They just call everything's a Dars, which is what it is. So anyway, um, don't confuse it with the Anaconda because I already noticed, here, Rustin, lay on your side. So I already noticed, like, guys, you're not gonna do this. Actually, get up on your knees. It's easier to understand. This is an Anaconda. So this is not the Dars. So this will kind of segue into the next situation. Don't do this. Uh, if we do this, this is still a great choke, you know? Still a great choke. But when the guy's on his knees, you guys are gonna come off to the side and punch my hand through and get my elbow in, like this. In wrestling, this is called the three-quarter Nelson, okay? This is a three-quarter. Yeah, like a half Nelson. Right, full Nelson, quarter Nelson, quarter Nelson with the chin, okay? And this is called three-quarter Nelson, okay, in wrestling. So you use this, some people call it a vice grip Dars, I keep this elbow in, put this leg up, and then I can flip my opponent onto their side. When you do this, don't let the arm get out. Don't let the arm get out. Keep the arm trapped with your chest. Lift the head a little bit and dip my shoulder so I can shoot that that angle to get it in deep. We wanna go wrist deep on our grips. And then again, million different ways to finish. Caveman, you can just sprawl and squeeze. You can step over and mount. You can hook a leg. Or you can even go towards your back and walk towards it like this, getting that marsh variation. So there's so many ways to finish. I think the overwhelming, more popular style of finishing nowadays is to rip it like a, uh, like a gi choke. So when you guys are hitting that front headlock, don't confuse with the anaconda. Shoot off to the side and lock that. Elbow in. If your elbow's out, his head gets out. See that? You can get your head out of that hole. Oh, yeah. So I want to keep that elbow in and, you know, get a good grip. And then this leg gives me some power so I can pop that guy right here, keep my weight on him. So the guy can't roll to his back and he also can't get up anymore. You know, I'm like putting pressure as I'm shooting it and locking it and then coming over here, hooking a leg or something. And this is what I was talking about. Pull the elbow to the sky like a gi choke. And it's kind of nasty. It can kind of, the dars, it, you can squeeze a guy and choke a guy out with the pressure on the carotid, but it's also something that can uh, kind of pop some neck, you know, a little pop pop on the neck. What's up, Jesse? Yeah, so, you know, uh, I think it was Shamaya in Holland. Yeah, he was, they were stuck in the Mars, like that Mars variation. Yeah. And I don't think he could get the, and what's the key to finishing that? Because, you know, they, that, he, he had him there for a long time. And I feel like his, you know his arms were my, starting my to memory, gas out. My memory of the fight is already, I do remember. I, 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 I watched don't remember the, the fight. fight either. I just remember they were stuck in that side, that Mars position well, for a long time. Well, what sucks is now you're putting me in a position where I don't have it in front of me. Yeah. So I don't remember what it looked like, so I could talk to you about where. But what's the key to finishing it on your side, basically? So once I go here and I flip this guy, right? Mm. And how far was he? Was he no, in the Mars? Yeah, he was going Mars. He yeah. was going like this. Yeah. So as he starts, you're just gonna get up because it's gonna fucking yeah, hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so, stuck there so he was like long. this. Uh -huh. Sometimes, you know what guys do? This guy in defense will roll over and he'll put his back on my face. Like that, yeah. and then yeah. you'll you'll go like this, yeah. and then no, Russ and don't overdo it because you're. If I, yeah. And then and then as this guy walks, 
this guy walks away and you're like squeezing, but you can't do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chase and then when he runs away, I'm gonna roll and come back over here. Yeah. Bam. That's Once again, mount, hooking, all of this is death. Because now when he tries to get up, I've got my toes in the mat and now I can just squeeze and finish. Um, so, so again, I'm gonna go through that cycle one more time. Let's say he got up to his knees. So I go Mars and then I chase, 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 but he runs away and runs away. You see how I did that? And then now I'm like, all right, get out now. And now I'm like, um, you yeah, know, no way out now. So I, I put him, now I put, I trapped him. Put him in a position where he's like, damn, where am I gonna go? At that point, he better hope that my arms are already worn out or that my grip is like this. So it slips. But if you guys have a deep grip, you always wanna go wrist deep on your grips. Short arm people, they struggle with these moves. But if you can reach a nice, you got some length, like Jason or, or you know, uh, Anthony right here has got some good length, Rostin. Rostin's like, well, don't talk about me. Look at, look at how much length I have. Yeah, it's a wingspan move. Hey, no, yeah. but you know, all those uh, variations, that finishes are, were dope and like, uh, one thing I call it like the sack of potatoes, you know, if you were a bite of like a sack of potatoes, it would be all, and you know, you, you can finish your darts where you have your gut and make that space small. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like bring it up. But more interesting to me was, you know, this torque variation. Like, uh, the, here, can sure, I show, show me, on you? Show me on Ross. This, this guy, teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You wanna get good at throws, like Jesse, you need a suplex speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. And uh, how you do that, uh, it really brought back memories because if you have this one and this one and give them the old high school wrestler like and really punch your shoulder up at the same time, you get like a nice torque for that guy. Don't it's talk. like, yeah, <laughs> this guy's a beast, come on. But, <laughs> You know, it's like, ah! you know, it's a crowd pleaser. Like, if you really yeah. get a boost on it, you know? So it's coming from here, you can just do it immediately. You know, like, just suddenly you're there. You know, you're going through it with intensity, but you're like this, and a lot of guys will not be ready. You know, unless you did some high school wrestling, a lot of jiu-jitsu guys will just yeah. be like, oh, relaxed right here, and you give them the torque, and then, yeah, notice that I, I like cranked it afterwards. And then look, readjust. Yeah. You know, punch it through. Now, now Jason, what's, yeah. your, what's your favorite way of finishing the darts? Man, well, listen, I don't want to do it a low percentage where if I am here, lower percentage. If I get this torque move, here is the best. Yeah. Well, so because now I have to go head and chest. You know, you have to loosen up a tiny bit, you know, to make space to jam your arm in there harder. You can, you know, a lot of times you try to finish like this. Yeah, it's not. Buddy, this guy's next tough is going to be like, ah. But if I stop this here, because really what he needs to do is boost his head out. Yeah, yeah. And look at that. Keep going, keep going. I'm like, oh, wah, wah. we'll get him next time. You know, so here, this jam and here, yeah. you know, so that's I my guess, favorite. I guess what I'm asking is, once you get to the end, yeah. do you like to just fall and squeeze? Well, yeah, but no, you have to be responsive. Because again, this guy, he's smart, he's gonna go, ah, ah, ah. Mm. left and right, left and right, left and right. I think defending the darts, it's like a weird science. Like you gotta <laughs> make this box 
unhit poofable, you know? Mm. So that uh, when he gets caught here, oh, I move my head a little bit here. And then he readjusts. Oh, I move my head a little bit here. Because you're stuck in this trap, mm. you know? So you got to make your carotid flow blood to your head. If not, you're sleeping. So here, here. And don't give up because this guy's squeeze like this will wear out too. Mm. And then... And you see what happened once, once your head passed a, a threshold of the wrist, then the guy is you're, you're free, and can now scramble. But uh, back to your question, you said uh, at the very you, end, what, do you, what is your favorite way to finish the squeeze? And then bop. Once you get to here, do you like? Well, see, I, like a lot of times you have to take a pause, right, right here, mm -hmm. and base yourself, because he's smart. He'll like throw you through. You know, if he thought, if he realizes that you're going Darce, he, I'm committed, yeah, I'm committed right now with my arms in here. So really, if he, if we, the, the momentum kind of goes this way and he torques me this way, now I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. I have to hop back on top or something. And he got my arm chicken winged. It's, it's really, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's gonna have a bad time, but, uh, if you're floating there and your chest is high on, I mean, your chest is smashing to his shoulder, you're doing the benefit of wearing him out a little bit and uh, setting up for your next position. Mm. This is really impromptu. I haven't thought about this in a long that's time. That's all right. We're getting going. <laughs> let's, let's hit that, that vice grip dar set. We got to pry him over. No, so yeah, I think that's the biggest prime. thing to drill. Yeah. That's the, uh, that vice grip can, thing, can especially if you're not wrestling. like a wrestler guy who wrestler all the way through, you know? Yeah. Cause this is a next, you know, it's, it's kind of a different technique than anything else in jujitsu or. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot of moves like this. The, the, this part, the way we're flipping the guy over. So uh, we'll, maybe a little bit, in a little bit, we'll talk about like how they use it in wrestling and just try to adapt that. Like he keeps mentioning, you know, if a guy's a, a, a good, tough wrestler, cause in wrestling, that's something that happens quite a bit when a guy's riding, a guy will go for a three quarter Nelson. So let's try it guys. Let's give us give it a go. I'll go around and help you out. Ready? Let's go. There it is. The, uh, the vice grip Darsh, the three-quarter Nelson. Uh, flip your opponent. Um, bring the mayhem. That's what we're going to do. See you guys next time with more great stuff. <laughs>